Alright guys, today we are going to jump over to one of my favorite killers in the game. Uh, that is the Unreo. I haven't uh, played the Unreo in a while. But uh, aside from her already base built-in excellence, um, I decided to run uh, kind of my aura reading build on her. Uh, keeping the tier 1 nowhere to hide, tier 1 lethal pursuer, paired with a tier 3 barbecue and chili. Now, I've got Lightborn here, just as a protective element, uh, but I might swap that off over to, um, oh gosh, what's that perk? The I'm All Ears ghost perk. Where is it? I know I have it. Tier... Ah, right down here. Tier 1, I'm All Ears, just to give even greater potential. But of course, y'all know my philosophy on this. Some would say, oh, don't run light more, but yeah, people can pick light uh, lights out of the chest. And when I'm trying to run a build and trying to uh, blood point farm, it's just not only a quality of life, but it's kind of an insurance policy perk from my perspective. So this is the build we're going to run today and we're going to hop right in and see how well it goes on the Unreal. All right, we got one of the nice big sandy maps here. No problem for me. I don't mind these maps at all. Got two over there by themselves in the corner. Uh-oh. And we've got a survivor that ran right into me right in the beginning far less than ideal for them not so much bad for me and we grab her straight off of it it's almost like she didn't even know that I was here which is admittedly a little bit funny I suppose let's go ahead and give that a quick little pop as well. Bruh, what are you doing? Really? You're gonna give up in the very beginning of the game? I don't get it. Yep, it is clear that they are giving up in the very beginning of the trial. So this will be an easy, 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 presumably squad wipe. I suppose somebody could get lucky. Nah, you know, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. We'll just come up and uh, hit Nancy. Since she's got a little healing kit in her hands, let's just give her a quick love tap. There you go, Nance. Sorry, Nancy. Had to happen. So, yeah, I mean, let's be real. This this match was over basically the second it began. I don't think that survivor appreciated being hit by me in the opening seconds of the match. Oh, yeah, you did it. Good job. Really? Now, I know you're not going to go for the rescue right in front of my face. Bro. Nope. Well, this scuba's done, so let's just get him off the field since he hasn't been playing seriously this whole match anyway. We'll just wipe him off real quick. Yeah, we'll use this hook on the corner. This could go down as the fastest match I've ever played. And there's an injured survivor running back here. And there's a healthy survivor running back there. Sorry, lady. Your teammates absolutely hosed you on this. I do feel a little bit bad about this one. Just a little. Just a little. I'm blood point farming, guys. That's the name of the game. Hey, but look, the, the, the plus side, somebody did manage to pop a gin. 
You ran ba right back to the same place again, lady. What's wrong with you? Why? What did you think I wouldn't look for you in the exact same place you ran to last time you were injured? That's a mistake. Uh-oh. They're injured buddies right over here. Well, she's not injured. No, you don't want to do that. Oh, Nancy. Nope, oh, sorry. You're going down too. Yep. It's horrible. I know. I know. It's so horrible. I'm just awful. Just awful. It's not my fault that they came into play and didn't want to play. Oh. Nice movement there. We'll take her down first. Easy claps. Easy claps. We'll just end it. They shouldn't have to be subjected to this taking forever to get back in a real match. It's not even fair. It's their Dwight's fault. Yep. That's the fastest legit match I've ever played. I don't think that was four minutes of game time. So this is going to be a very quick, very short video. I guess I'll have to hop into another match real quick. That was silly. That, that was silly. Properly silly. Okay. That's kind of a lot of points for such a stupidly fast match. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what you would file on somebody. Uh, rage quitting, refusing to participate in normal gameplay. That's what it is, and Dwight gets it. He earned it. Uh, really makes for a bad experience for everybody in the lobby. Um, you know, there's just no need for that. Anything could happen. It is what it is, guys. Uh, you adapt and overcome and move on to the next trial. Anyway, I'll try another match, uh, uh, a real match that hopefully doesn't just take four minutes. And we'll try out this build for real. So, take two. Aha! Big outdoor map. These are always fun. I expect that we'll have a normally played match on this one. I'm just going to guess. We've got a couple running down here. One dead ahead in front of me on the opposite side of this wall. Uh-oh, Claudette. Sorry, Claudette. And yeah, we've got his hook right over here. I do hear a little work being done on that generator right over there, so we'll go over and kick it real quick. Just for sport. See if we get a little aura reading out of this. We do not. So we'll just get out of here. They're not within 25 meters. Uh-oh. No, I don't want Claudette. I want Leon. I think he has a flashlight in his hand. Hello, Leon, with a flashlight in your hand. That's a mistake, my friend. Got him. Perfectly timed hit. Perfectly timed. And obviously I hear that there's one working the gin on that upper platform, which is frankly the one that I would like to take down first anytime I pop on this map as a survivor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Oh, Claudette. Oh, poor Claudette. What are you... Lady, you have to run away from me, not run in a circle around yourself back into me. Oh, Claudette. Why'd you do it? Why'd you do it, Claudette? Bad spot, lady. Mm -mm. Unfortunate. Now, just in case she has the pallet pull-down perk, we'll walk her around the back corner. No risk of not getting this hook, obviously. There she goes. And let's go check out this one over here. Oh, I see someone over here on this one. Hello, Jill. No, I'd rather have Leon. He's already been on hook once. Yeah, you sure have, haven't you, Leon? Sorry, Leon. Poorly read. The Jill is doing work on those gins. Very, very, very good work on those gins. Let's use this hook right over here. Assuming I can get him up. Could be a poor assumption, but we're going to try. Let's see if we can get him up here. Yep, perfect. move. You better pray that you get up to Leon in time, because if you don't, you're in a really bad spot, guys. Really, really bad spot. Down she goes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope. That's game. She's dead on hook, so we'll take her over here, then we'll go back and find Jill. Yeah, this is a very strong build on the Unreal, guys. Very, very strong indeed. Sorry, Jill. A little bit. I'm a little bit sorry. Yeah, the Unreal is great. This build makes her better. Um, that's the takeaway here, guys absolutely top tier build for the Unreal. It doesn't even matter that half of the perks aren't leveled up. I didn't need Lightborn, but it does still give aura reading as a just in case. Um, you know, I'm all ears. Could have, in theory, made this more powerful, but this build is just sick. And it's really, really, really good on the Unreal. I would highly recommend trying it out. Well played by the survivors. Nice attempt. Um, I always hate when I run into the same survivor that I just hooked, but there's nowhere, n no one around them. So instead of hanging out with a group, and I mean a couple times I ran in and let them go off and went after a different target, but you know, once you're down to that few people left, it, it kind of is one of those situations where it is what it is. Uh, but well played. Well played. Uh, good attempt by the survivors. The build is absolutely disgusting, guys. I would recommend trying it out or some derivative thereof. I appreciate you checking in. We will catch you on the next one.